The Camera One crew visited the Lions Community Park for the third annual fiddle contest. On September 29th, we returned to cover the fourth annual antique auto show, and what was the first thing to meet our eyes? A bunch of leftover fiddlers. Two hundred and twenty-two cars were at the show. The cars were put in classes by years and voted on by the people who attended the show. Trophies were given to the top three winners in each class. This is a copy of an official ballot. And these, of course, are the trophies. There were many fascinating cars at the show, including these. This is a 1957 Chevrolet Bel Air Coupe owned by George Bride of Kutztown. He calls the car the White Dragon and bought it in this condition. He then modified it on his own to look like this. In 1913, Model T Ford Runabout, owned by Jay Schlossberg, it won the prize for the oldest car. The day was dedicated to Tommy Hinnerschitz, a dirt track racer from the 50s. Well, I had the car, I had the, the, the chassis built by uh, Hiram Hillegas in Allentown, 1953, and uh, I drove this car until I sold it to a fellow in uh, Cleveland, Ohio, by the name of Herb Swan. See, uh, mostly half mile, the half mile sprint cars. And uh, I came painted all over the country, uh, although mostly in the east there, uh, anywhere from uh, uh, upper New York to uh, Florida, and anywhere in between there. Uh, it's an Offenhauser engine, which uh, 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 Offenhauser isn't built anymore. They, uh, they dis discontinued the operation of, of making the engines, and, uh, uh, well, you take like the rear end, uh, that is uh, Halibrand, built, uh, it was built by Halibrand. I won uh, 103 main events, 
that would have been uh, in uh, the American Automobile Association when they were sanctioning the races yet. And then when they went out of the, the sanctioning, by then uh, USAC was, uh, uh, that's how, how USAC got started. Now here's a look at some great old cars. Maybe you'll even see one that you had as your first car.